The city of Los Angeles debuted a new website last week and they're the latest city to get themselves a mobile app. This video is a review of the new LACity.org website. In a fun twist, the mayor hosted a press conference via Google Hangout to celebrate the news of the launch. That's the driving principle behind the new LACity.org. I think it's really cool to use Google Hangout for a press conference, especially because I love hosting Google Hangouts. So let's take a look at the new LACity.org. As for the overall design and look and feel, I like it. I think the blue and orange make a good color combination. The interior pages are simple. They have a standard layout, white background, lots of contrast. I like it. Looking at the home page, the main photo is a nice rotating photo, beautiful images, although it does take up a lot of prime real estate there on the home page. I think you can really showcase your city, but do it in a way so the photo doesn't take up so much room on the home page and you really highlight those services, which is what people are there for. I love these big menus, commonly called mega menus. It lets the user browse the material that they might see in that section without actually clicking on the section. I also love this neighborhood resources tool where you pop in the street address you live at. You can see things like your council members as well as what day trash pickup is. It's really a cool resource. I think the introductory video to the new changes on the website is great, but the problem is it didn't recognize that I had already been to the website before. So I've looked at this homepage 75 times and unfortunately I've seen the video pop up 75 times. One of the first things I do when I test a website is to resize the web page because I'm checking for responsive design. Now remember, responsive design is where the content on your web page adjusts based on the screen size that you're viewing the web page in. By the time you get down to the size of a mobile device, it's a very friendly appearance. And here's what it's supposed to look like. Check out Smashing Magazine's website. You can see as you drag the side of the page, to adjust the screen width, the content adjusts itself very smartly and ultimately when you get to a small size, you can still see what's going on. Hold it up to Smashing Magazine's mobile site and you can see it's the exact same thing. Now, look what happens with LACity.org. As you readjust the size of the screen, nothing changes. You'd have to scroll to see the content. When you take a look at their mobile site, you see that everything was shrunk down to fit within their mobile site, so you don't have to scroll. However, it doesn't really do anything for you because the content is so small, you have to spread it out to make the screen bigger to actually be able to do anything on their mobile site. One thing I definitely would recommend for Los Angeles is to take a look at recoding the site to incorporate elements of responsive design. The great thing is that they are looking for feedback all over this website. You really can't turn around without finding a feedback button for you to tell them what you think. So if you think of other ideas like this, submit it to them, they want to hear from you. So I know from firsthand experience, doing a website redesign for a major government organization's website is a difficult process. It's a challenge to say the least. I'm looking forward to seeing them taking all these comments into consideration. For some great advice on what to include in your own government's redesign project, look at govfresh.com. A recent post by Luke Fretwell gives you nine ways to make your government website better. I like a lot of the advice he shares. One of the ideas is to create a slash social page. This is where you include everything related to social media for your organization. Put it all together in one section. LACity.org does this really well. Another item I would add on here is a link to your official social media policy so that everyone knows your approach to things like monitoring and comments and things like that. Now I can't actually review their mobile app yet because it's not available. Apparently it's done. It will be up and running soon. I do think that their mobile app is going to be one of the more popular ones because not only do they give you the 311 uh, service request tool on there, but they also let you submit utility payments. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, use hashtag GovGirl, and subscribe on YouTube so you see more videos like this because I enjoy putting them together and I hope you enjoy watching them. So Valentine's Day is the two year anniversary of me putting together GovGirl videos. What started off as just me in the corner of my bedroom with four lamps on me and a video camera has just blossomed into me behind my dining room table with an iPhone. Anyway, here is a quick montage of all the fun moments in GovGirl videos over the last two years. I hope you enjoy them as much as I have fun putting them together.
yeah, we just did that. 